there are a couple basic measurements that we can take of our signal's amplitude. The first one we'll look at is called the peak amplitude or the peak magnitude. The idea here is to find the value of the sample that has the maximum level. This could be a positive value or it could also be a negative value. One reason we might want to look at this is to ensure that our signal fits within the bounds of minus one to plus one. If it goes beyond that range, then it might clip or distort. Let's go ahead and look at how we can measure the peak amplitude. Here I'll demonstrate some steps that can be used to determine the peak amplitude of a signal. As an example, let's say we've got a sound file that we'd like to analyze. This is the acoustic guitar sound file on my computer's hard drive. I'm going to read it into MATLAB and then plot it so we can look at the waveform. I can run the script. Here's the figure. I've got the waveform, which is the amplitude of the signal over time. What we like to do is find the value of the sample that has the maximum amplitude. More specifically, which one has the largest displacement from zero? It could be a positive amplitude or it could be a negative amplitude. That's what we like to determine. So here what I'm going to do is two different steps. The first step is to take the absolute value of the function. What this is going to do is ensure that all the negative values are positive. This way, now we can compare both the negative to the positive ones. So we'll call this the magnitude of the signal. It's gonna be equal to the absolute value that's a built-in function in MATLAB of our signal. So now I'm going to plot the magnitude of the signal instead. Run this script and look at the result. Now we don't have any values that go less than zero. They're all greater than zero. So we have, in this case, maybe a peak over here or over here. The next step is to actually let the computer figure out which one of these peaks has the maximum value. There's another built-in function that we can use for this find the maximum value. Max value is equal to, this is a built-in function called max, and we'll use it of the magnitude of the signal. So in this case, we don't need to plot it. We're just gonna let our computer print out to the command window, what is this value, the maximum value in our signal? See that it's a value of 0 0.6447. We can double check this again by plotting the magnitude and looking at it. So it must be one of these points here, 0 0.6447. So there's our maximum value of our signal.